Hello, it's Silja, and I hope you all are having a lovely day or evening. Today is Litmus Day 3, and the prompt is to talk about the best book you read this year. And for me, that is Dr. Trivago by Boris Pasternak. This was a wonderful and heartbreaking and all-consuming reading experience for me. I completely adored it. This is an epic story and an epic love story and it has a very dramatic backdrop with the Russian Revolution, the First World War and also the race of the communism and the beginning of the Soviet Union era. And I found the historical and also the political aspects to be very fascinating and I find myself looking up things and doing some research to get the full picture of the situation back then and even though I have learned about it in school I needed to refresh my memory but I very much enjoyed doing so. But me being me, my favorite aspect with this novel was of course the characters and the relationships between them. And especially the relationship between the main character, Yuri Chivago, and the love of his life, Lara. And throughout this book, Yuri is constantly torn between the love for Lara and also his responsibilities for his wife and his child. And because all the characters are so very well fleshed out and developed, as a reader you really feel for all of them and you care for all of them. So I care for Yuri and his wife and of course Lara, which is my favorite character. And the story about Lara and especially her early story, the story from when she was young was so painful and so relatable that I just wanted to do, hug her. Um, and I cherished every moment in this novel where Yuri and Lara got together because I felt like their love was eternal. As many Russian novels or classics, uh, this book has also a lot of characters and a lot of names. And some of the characters has several names. But I found it to be easier as I was getting into the story. In the beginning I was quite confused, but it got much easier. And what I really, really loved was that even the minor characters and the minor episodes played an important part in the overarching story. So you can be so you could be introduced to a character or an episode in one chapter and later that character or that episode would be referenced by some other. So everything was so intertwined and it made this story stand out as something really well crafted. All the dots were connected in the end and it made such a great story together. My reading experience of this book was all consuming. I was so emerged in the story, I was devouring it. And as I said, the characters are so, so very well developed, so they stand out as people. The settings are so vivid, so I felt I was there with them. And I was feeling their pain, and I was feeling their joy, and I was crying with them, and I was laughing with, with them. And it was such an intense and wonderful reading experience. I highly recommend you to check out Dr. Chivago if you haven't already. It is very accessible, I think. At least it's much more accessible than 
other Russian classics that I have read or attempted to read. It might be because it is a modern classic and not a classic classic, but either way, it is a wonderful read. And that was my best book of the year. Uh, tomorrow I will not be able to upload a video because I will be gone for the whole evening. But I will be back on Tuesday, I think, hopefully. I would really like to know what your favorite book of the year is. Please talk to me in the comments. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, how about?